This is Wales and all its beauty, authentically gorgeous and full of history. And today, we'll be learning how to cook the national dish of Wales. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the It's Wanderlust channel. We are on our way to a restaurant. We're going to meet Chef Simon. Um, he's gonna teach us all about Welsh cooking. So, tune in. I'm Simon Davis, head chef from Ashley House. Been here five years now. It's a lovely place. It's really nice here. It's uh, steeped in history. Quite a pivotal building. It's, it's nice to be able to have the opportunity to, uh, to, to cook and to serve people, you know, really good simple food you know I'm not trying to push any boundaries here we're not trying to do anything new but what, what, what I try and do is really good solid cooking something that everybody can enjoy so uh, what we're doing today is a traditional Welsh dish uh, loved by the people all over Wales um, and that's called cow essentially it's a vegetable soup lamb cow with these ingredients is as close as I can get it to what my grandmother used to cook for me. Um, and that's something I hold dear as much as a lot of people in Wales. The Welsh have got a word, heraith. Um, that's a word that describes the feeling of longing for one's home and one's loved ones when we're away from Wales. Um, and I suppose like cow would be a big part of that, you know? Young boys missing grandmother's cow. When they get back and they see their grandmothers, they give them a big old cutch, which is basically a cuddle but there's no cuddle like a kutch. We're looking for a pretty good sized dice, nothing too big, nothing too small. You know, and the great thing about a dish like this is it can be prepared the day before, cooked on the day, left on the stove top for a couple of hours, and the longer you leave it, the better it gets. So I'll do the leek, I'll do the whites and the greens separately. The greens will go in towards the end to try and keep a little bit of colour. Okay, so I'm going to take a large pan. Wait for that to come up to temperature and then we'll add our lamb. The recipe as it goes, we've got a kilo of diced lamb shoulder. We've got 300 grams of carrots, 400 grams of swede, 400 grams of parsnip, one medium sized leek, the whites and the greens cut separately, and one large onion. And then we also got a liter of lamb stock. And that's basically it. The most important part of the whole dish is the initial browning of the meat. If you didn't do this, you just end up with quite a sort of insipid soup. But also in quite basic sort of traditional household cooking, these processes exist, but you know, it, it, it's all part of a bigger thing. It's starting to get colour now at the bottom of the pan, but we'll keep moving it around, browning it, moving it until it's all nice and coated, and you get a deep, deep, nice savoury flavour off that. Not only that, I think when you've got a nice, good colour on the meat, the broth will have a nice, good colour as well. So I'll take the lamb out now. We've got good colour going, but I'm going to try and reserve as much of the uh, oil and some of the fat that's come from the meat in the pan. If you've reached this point for cooking meat, uh, in a lot of cookery, uh, this will be deglazed with a stock or an alcohol, but what we're gonna do is just add the onions straight to that. The moisture will come out of the onions and it'll start to pull that fond off the bottom of the pan. Again, just like the lamb, we wanna get a nice color on the onions before we add the rest of our ingredients. Uh, so now we're adding our root veg. And we turn, turn the heat down a little bit. And we want to sweat them off nice and slowly. So they start releasing a lot of their liquids. And then in turn, that will, that will help deglaze the bottom of the pan. Again, pulling the flavour from the pan back into the vegetables. So we haven't got lids here, so we make do. So pop the tray on. Put the lamb back in and any of the juices that were in the bowl, because it's all flavour. 
and we'll just let that ride for the next five ten minutes uh, and it, you know it's it's a slow dish it takes a little while <coughs> oh absolutely yeah slow foods good food yeah <laughs> so now we'll add the leek whites turn the heat up And then we'll add our lamb stock. You want to just cover the vegetables and the meat with, with liquid. So that was another liter of water. And then that can simmer then for about three or four hours. And here we are. Three hours later, everything's cooked down nice. The vegetables have started taking on a lot of the flavor of the, the broth, the broth itself full of flavor. The lamb is super tender and we're ready to go. So we'll serve up with a strong Welsh cheese. I'll get some bread as well. This dish was not only nourishing, but it was delicious. It takes me back to um, childhood memories, you know, where your grandmother would produce dishes like this. It's nourishing, it's everything you need. Be sure to check out the Hienetri house. The amount of fascinating history in this house is astounding. Be sure to like and subscribe to this page if you want to see more content like this.